The discovery of the mummy in Peru has provided us with a lot of information about ancient human burial practices. It is one of the most complete mummies found in the Americas, and it gives us a perspective on what life was like for these people. The discovery of this mummy also tells us more about how we can study ancient cultures. The Peruvian government has been working to preserve and protect their heritage so that future generations will be able to learn from it. What do we know about this mummy? How did they find it? This well-preserved mummy is a refuge for archaeologists and mystery fans. So let's get right to it. On Peru's central coast, where individuals were buried about 800 years ago. In line with burial rituals common in the hilly Andean area, caretakers mummified the deceased by wrapping their remains in the fabric, putting their hands over their faces, and binding their limbs together with rope. A mummy with similar characteristics was discovered in a fetal posture, restrained by a rope near the same practice. At the site of Cajamarquilla in Peru, Archaeologists discovered this mummy dating back roughly 1,000 years. The Universidad Nacional Mayor de San Marcos discovered it during a dig. The mummy was in a fetal posture, with its hands concealing its face, and was restrained by rope. According to the mummy's features, it appears to be a man who was buried in a technique that was prevalent at the time for people living in hilly areas around Cajamarquilla. The pre-Inca mummy was discovered within an oval-shaped tomb with a seven-tier stairway, according to researchers from the National University of San Marcos. Researchers discovered evidence that the site was used by coastal and mountain people during the late pre-Hispanic era, with an advantageous position for trade interchange between the residents of both locations due to the body's rope covering. Cajamarquilla was a bustling city located on the right bank of the Aramac River approximately 16 miles inland at the time the mummy was buried, and it was a site where people from the coastal and highland portions of Peru participated in trade, according to experts. The city acted as a crossroads for people from both the coast and the mountains. At the period, the city may have had a population of over 10,000 people. After the body is buried in the tomb, there are continual ceremonies and activities. Pieter van Dalenbrugge, an archaeological professor at the National University of San Marcos, told CNN. Other funeral gifts were discovered in the subterranean tomb where the body was discovered. The mummy, a male between the ages of 18 and 22, was discovered wrapped in a textile and his body tied in rope, as was customary at the period for persons living in hilly areas around Cajamarquilla. They discovered the remains of a dog and an Andean guinea pig, as well as maize and the remains of other plants, in the man's grave. Llama bones were discovered outside the tomb, which experts believe were cooked by visitors who delivered the bones as offerings. After his burial, family members would have paid visits to his grave to make offerings. Stone tools and ceramic jars with indications of vegetative stuff were among the finds. According to the researchers, it was also assumed that the individual had a high social rank or was a merchant. The mummified man died between 800 and 1,200 years ago, according to experts, and was the son of a rich businessman. According to Reuters, the archaeologists said that radiocarbon dating techniques would be used to determine a more exact chronology of the individual's existence. The town became a multi-ethnic commercial hub during this era, according to the scholarly publication, the late intermediate period in Cajamarquilla from the evidence of the Tello sector. This work contributes to a greater understanding of the cultural practices developed in late pre-Hispanic periods in Cajamarquilla its interactions with other sites in the Aramac Valley, the productive strategies it had, as well as the hierarchical situation at the time of the arrival of the Incas and the annexation of this territory to Tahuantinsuyo, according to the researcher's statement. Researchers aim to learn more about the indigenous people that lived along Peru's coast before the Inca Empire's rise to prominence about 1,400 CE by studying the tomb and its inhabitant. The Andean area was home to many diverse societies, each with its own approach to death, ranging from natural to aided mummification. Desiccation or freeze drying were two methods for preserving the corpse, both of which were aided by the natural climatic conditions present across the Andean region. 
Alcohol might potentially be used to cure and preserve bodies from chicha maize beer. Early Andean tribes also employed salt as a preservative, and the flesh and body fluids were frequently taken from the dead before burial. High-end textiles and diamonds were used to dress and wrap important people. The deceased's belongings were buried beside their owner, sometimes alongside their profession's instruments. Mummies from Peru, as well as their burial goods, have tremendously aided archaeologists in their understanding of pre-Hispanic indigenous Andean societies. Detailed analyses of the most recent discovery will undoubtedly add to this knowledge. The archaeologist stated in a statement in Spanish that the latest finding of a pre-Inca mummy in perfect condition has led to redoubled efforts to continue revealing the secrets buried in one of the most extensive civilizations on the Lima coast. The mummy is presently on exhibit in the Museum of the National University of San Marcos. The mummy is still being studied. It's also unlikely to be seen to the general public. The Peruvian mummy is a mummy found in fetal position. It was found in the Andes Mountains. The mummy was found to have been wrapped up in a woven mat and had been buried with a small quantity of food and drink, as well as other objects such as a copper needle and thread. The mummy was found in an unusual position. The archaeologists think that the mummy was buried in fetal position, which is not common for the time period. There are many theories about this unusual burial position. One theory is that the mummy was a fetus and that the person buried it with care, but there is no way to tell for sure what happened. Stay tuned for more next time. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications for new videos.